You are listening to episode 69 of the Less Dress, More Fun podcast. Today, I'm talking to you about what you can count on. It's a pep talk. Come on in. You are listening to the Less Dress, More Fun podcast. I'm your host, Master Certified Coach Lisa Schwaller. Each week on the podcast, we talk about how you can rise above the stress of modern living so that you can focus your energy on what matters most and have a lot more fun in the process. All right, let's get started. Well, hello, please come on in to the podcast. Today I have a pep talk. And to be clear, this is kind of a pep talk for myself. And sometimes when I give myself a pep talk, I think, oh, others might benefit from this as well. First, let me tell you a story where I got the idea for this episode. I was in a parking lot. I had gone to run an errand and arrived a couple minutes before the store was open. And I was in this parking lot and looking at the shops. Now I've lived in my neighborhood for over a decade and I've seen things come and go. And I was thinking about how much the course of everyday life can change or not change over time. There's one store in this shopping center that I used to go to every week or two, but I haven't been in years just because my shopping habits have changed. There was one space that was once a play center that you could take your toddlers and um, you could drop them off and they would play while I ran errands. And that place has been out of business for ages. It just got me to thinking about the beginning of the year and how for so many people, the year starts with bold intentions. And yet it can be tough sticking to be a new person every day when we have so much practice being the person that we're trying to change. In fact, it's something that's on my radar a lot this year is apparently there's a day in January that's known as Quitter's Day, and it's only like two and a half, three weeks into the year, and people have already said, nah. And apparently this comes from, they have all these apps of people going to the gym. It's it's so funny. I, I work out at a workout studio near my house, and I always love December because I can get in any time. I have the place to myself. It's very luxurious. And then that first couple of weeks of January, it's packed. But it is true that by the end of January, it's not hard to get a space anymore. So anyway, there I was on this Sunday morning with my mind floating between what used to be and what I'd like to create. I was thinking of my goal for this year. It's an impossible goal because it would actually be astounding if I completed it. It does feel impossible. Just the logistics of the time required make it feel impossible. So as I was thinking of this podcast episode, as I was putting this together in late January 2023, I noticed that I have been asking myself this question, what was I thinking? setting this goal because the goal is, well, damn near impossible. And then as I was in that parking lot, again, with my mind kind of wandering between my past and my future, I felt a wave of reassurance because I realized what I can count on. One of the things I can count on that we all can count on is change. Things change just like that shopping center. Businesses have come and gone. This is how life is. Our communities change. Relationships change. Our bodies change. Our priorities change. The things that we use to entertain us come and go. And it gave me a sense of relief that because there's always change in so much of my life today, I could not have imagined. 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So there really isn't a need to push myself to get there because there is coming and there is going over time anyway. And I think that's where my sense of self-comfort came from. That what I can count on 
through all this change is that I'm going to be with myself every moment along the way. So that's my pep talk for you today. You can count on you. What you can count on is you. It's wonderful. No matter what, no matter how things are going, no matter how they stay the same or evolve, you will always be with you. Now, I think it's fair to say I've spent the better part of the last few years literally training my way into an elevated skill set of mental processing. And along with that has come an elevated self-concept through the coaching certifications that I've done. And especially with the master coach training that I have recently completed, I literally have trained myself to be able to detect patterns and and kind of unpack them at an advanced level. And the side benefit that I did not expect I heard about, and I thought it was a myth, is that my relationship with myself would become profoundly better. It is true that no matter what changes, that as I have learned more about how my mind works, I have actually developed a lot of reassurance that I am great. I am whole. I am complete. My mind is operating in a very normal fashion. I've coached thousands of people, and I work with other coach practitioners. And the one thing that is so reassuring to me is that a lot of the things that we think are problems are just part of the software installed in the human mind. Now, when I say, no matter what changes, no matter what remains the same, I have me. I am filled with so much self-confidence and self-trust. And that self-confidence and that self-trust allows me to form really meaningful connections with, with the people where I feel like I'm just really expansive, like it's just a really expansive connection that I'm able to form outside of myself now. But let's bring this back to you. What can you count on yourself for? Consider these options. First, you can count on yourself to take care of yourself and that things really will be okay. They may not be ideal. They may not be exactly what you've chosen, but you'll know how to take care of yourself. You know, changing economic cycles are an invitation to connect to your resilience and creativity. I mean, really, isn't it true that you've always managed to get by? And isn't that true that that could be possible for you for your entire life, that you'll always take care of yourself and that things will work out okay? And in fact, sometimes the darkest experiences in our life actually yield the greatest gifts. Think of times you've gone through something unexpected and maybe something amazing and transformative and like, ah, uh, just wonderful has come out of it. There are a lot of people losing jobs right now, and I have been in that situation. If you work in information technology for long enough, chances are you've gone through some restructuring. And it's such a reassurance to remember that those times when I was in between jobs, when I was in transition, I actually developed a lot of really wonderful relationships and ended up exploring things I wouldn't have if things had just stayed predictably the same. What else can you count on yourself for? When you know you can count on yourself, when you know that you are emotionally whole, healthy, good enough, normal enough, and whatever you need, you can get for yourself, that you can take care of yourself financially, logistically, and emotionally, you tend to choose relationships that are truly the best connections for everybody involved. You don't necessarily worry about hanging on to a connection that doesn't feel great for you because no matter what, you have you. And it can actually be a generous way to 
develop your trust in yourself, honestly, because you can count on you. You have what you need, and it helps you not stay half in, half out. What else can you count on yourself for? Well, you can count on yourself that you really do know what you want and you can change your mind. Both. And. I'm all about both. And. I can get swept away by ideas or projects or even being part of communities or what I call shiny objects as much as the next person, right? Like I get excited about something and I might get really into it. And then sometimes I might say, oh, now it's time for me to pivot. Or now I want to follow this other interest. Or I got everything that I needed here and it's time for me to leave. There have been times with professional organizations that I've been involved where I've been all in and then maybe due to a relocation or as I pivoted my profession, it was just time to hand it on to someone else and let them get really excited about it. And I think that back to that, what can you count on? You can count on you. You can count on yourself to say, yes, this is what I want. And no, this isn't what I want anymore. Yes, this is for me. Or no, this is not for me, at least not right now. And you can count on yourself to trust yourself if you change your mind. Changing your mind is not a failure. There is so much I don't know. I don't it's like almost like propaganda. If you pick something you have to stick with it forever, you always have to work on it forever or you always have to like, you know, keep it going forever, but maybe not. You can change your mind. It's okay. Count on your inner wisdom. You can count on it. Right? Because you're with yourself all Wait, I have to read my notes. 525,600 minutes in each year. Yes, there are over half a million minutes in each year. So how do you want to spend them? And can you count on yourself to know what you want in the spending of each one of those beautiful, non-refundable, non-replenishable minutes? So that's the pep talk today. If you are working on an impossible goal like I am, or if you're working on New Year's resolutions, projects, relationships, whatever it is, and maybe you're also asking yourself, what was I thinking? <laughs> Why am I doing this? And you feel tempted to change, pivot, quit, whatever. You know, just remember, you can count on yourself. You can count on yourself to show up, to take care of yourself. You can count on yourself to choose what's best for you and to change your mind. And if you are looking for a little inspiration to stay with the goal, you really do want it. You really are committed. You can count on yourself to push through that discomfort and come through the other side knowing that this was just part of it too. I want to reinforce that I hope you receive this pep talk. As it's intended, this is not a manifesto to go all lone wolf in your life or to stick to something no matter what, unless that's what's your genuine path. Again, remember, you can count on yourself to know what's right for you and to know what you want. But I really do truly believe that the more we know that we're here for ourselves, that you are here for you, boo, that you are the lead character in every scene of the movie of your life, the more you're able to relax into the present moment, the more fully you're able to dream of your future expansively because you trust yourself. You can count on yourself. You, you've got you. All right. So my little invitation for you this week is to actually go stand in the mirror, make eye contact with your beautiful self and ask yourself, what can I count on myself for always and no matter what? Be your best friend. Count on yourself. Whatever is happening for you as this podcast is coming out, decide, move forward, step in your decision and just stay really connected to yourself all along the way. What a joy to do a pep talk. That was something different for the podcast. 
I hope it lands beautifully with you. Thank you for listening. If you're enjoying the podcast, please rate and review wherever you listen. This will help other listeners find the show and bring less stress, more fun out into the world. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you next week.